It, yeah, there, hey. Oh, that works. Yes, yes, it's lovely. What's my hair doing today? I don't know what my hair is doing, but that's okay. I don't like this apron. I need a different apron. Wait, I have more aprons. La, 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 la. I'm going to have more aprons, too. Try another towel. This other apron on. Different apron. This is not providing proper coverage, as we say. Good apron. Yes. Oh, this is a nice one. Yes. Here we go. La, la, la. Hello. Happening. It's happening. It's all happening. So, I've got it on the same. Uh, yeah, Hawkins. It's, yeah. yes, I am wearing a Stranger Things Hawkins High shirt. That's totally what's happening. Because I'm cray cray. I went to the to drive in thing. Hi, hi. So, it's, <laughs> I can't believe this. this is so fun. Um, yeah, it's who's going to do the cooking. Um, indeed, with me, with, with, with Alice and Arnold. And um, it's Cinnamon Chicken Day. We're doing cinnamon chicken. Now, cinnamon chicken. There's like a million recipes for cinnamon chicken. I need to tell you this. There are so many. There's like in the Little House book, and Melissa Gilbert's got one. Everybody's got one. Um, this is one is just, this is how I make it. This is how I make it. This needs to be higher. This is how I make it. <clears throat> and if you get, I'm plugging somebody else's book. No! Yes, I am. Um, this is Lori Jacobson. She's very nice. Lori Jacobson's TV dinners. I'm in here. Uh, on page 196, and indeed, I, um, yeah, spicy cinnamon chicken. I totally gave it the recipe for it. So you can't, it, yeah. So, but I'll tell you now. It'll make it really easy. So, I'll do, I'll pull that there. That looks lovely. Can we see? It's all about, it's going to go up a bit. Yes, up, up, up. Woo, there we go. Tighten up, tighten up. And then, um, yeah. <clears throat> La 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 la. A little tilty tilty. Tilty tilty. No, not that kind of tilty tilty. Here. There. That kind of tilty tilty. Whee! There we go. Because I want you to see the pan. You need to, you need to be able to see the pan. The pan. Very important. Because that's where the action is. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a little too tilty. <laughs> Perfect. Now, I do not know. <clears throat> If Elmanza Wilder actually ate anything like this at all in the 1800s, he might have, you know, because Elmanza was named for someone in the family, an old family name, Al Mansur. Yes, it's an Arab name. Crazy story, but apparently this is what Elmanza's parents told him. I've got to get my nails done. Um, is that in during the Crusades, the family had traced their lineage all the way back to the Crusades. That um, someone had had their life saved by a guy in the Crusades named Al Mansur, and they named someone every generation Al Monzo, Al Manzo, Al Manzo, because Al Mansur. So there's a kind of an 1800s Americanized Middle Eastern dish that they put cinnamon in, because I guess they didn't have cardamom. I, I, I'm not sure. It may, may have come from that. There's kind of a. I just put cinnamon on my chicken. It's really easy. So. <laughs> What the heck do you need? Well, um, I like to do this with green beans and mashed potatoes. So I have some mashed potatoes I made last night sitting in the microwave. Woo! And we do have green beans. Green beans, if you have not... Okay. How to make green beans. Buy a bag of fresh green beans, get a pot. If you do not own a steamer basket, this is a steamer basket, get one. Amazon, the dollar store, anywhere. You're, it is the greatest thing you'll ever own in your life if you do not already own one because this is how you steam vegetables and make everything super fresh and delicious. I'm going to get a little water here. So I need to come around this way. I think what I really need to do is do a little changey, changey, pluggy, pluggy very quickly here. Yeah, this is going to go here. Yes. And this is going to go here. Yes. And then that'll go there. And everything will be so much better. Oh, yeah, it's so much better, much better. It's a little closer. I think it's closer. It's a little weird. How about like that? Yeah, that's out of the way. That's, ah, perfect. And then that goes there. Like I said, we need, we need more crew. All right, perfect. Ta-da! Okay. Yay! So this is now water. Not a lot of water, a little water. And we put some of this in. Three minutes.
text a lot. I'm afraid I don't need that many. Okay. Because it's true. I was making, I made this for me and Bob last night. It was amazing. Bust them up. I don't want to bust them up. I want them whole. I'm going to put them in a hole. There. That's plenty. That's, yes. I'm just making a little bit of green beets. A little bit of green beets. That's it. That's plenty. And I put a little. I'm not even turning them on now because they only take a couple of minutes. So we will turn them on partway into the process is what we will do. in the pan. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, this kind of thing. I like this. I like this. You can use this. You can use, you can use whatever you want. I like this. Just like it. I'm going to put quite a bit in. What is that? Rachel Ray. Evu. Extra virgin olive oil. No, it's just olive oil. We're not going to call things Evu. That sort of thing. So that's plenty. That's plenty. So then what happens? How do we take a piece of chicken? This is a simple boneless, skinless breast of chicken you can get it anywhere. This is a boneless, skinless breast of chicken. You get so what are we going to do to this? We are going to do a couple things to it. Bowls, two bowls, little tiny bowls. This one is going to Okay, we're going to Milk! 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 How much milk? Now... Not very much. I'm going to measure it because even though I know how much milk it is, you don't know how much milk it is, so I should measure it. So you know how much milk it is. Measuring cup, measuring cup. I'm going to say, er, der, 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 like quarter of a cup. Tiny, tiny, small. That's all, that's all. Just a tiny, tiny bit of milk. Not a lot of milk. A tiny bit of milk. Now, what are we going to do with this milk? What? Milk? Why? Because we want the flour and the cinnamon to stick to the chicken. So I'm going to take this piece of chicken, mm, and I'm going to drop it right in the milk. Right in the milk. Just put the chicken in the milk. Boom. That's how hard that was. La, 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 la. Boom. Done. Then what? Well, many things. I'm going to put this away because I can't. I don't want it. Now, then, that's when we take this bowl. The key ingredient is flour. What? Flour. Yes, flour. I want it to be a little damp. So I want it to be no damp. Flour. What do we do flour? How much flour? I drink a quarter. A quarter cup. See, again, just a little bit. We're making one piece. We're making one piece of chicken. This isn't that hard. Now, I used more than this last night because I had two great big honking pieces of chicken. So look at that. Look at that. This can be approximate. You know, with like baking a cake, you have to be very, very exact. But this can be kind of approximate. So I'm going to put a little teeny bit more. Right? For, but there. That's fine. So what you want is just enough flour for one piece of chicken. That is not much. Quarter cup, half a cup tops. Now, why? It's called cinnamon chicken, isn't it? Yes, it is. So. What do we have? Oh, look! It's cinnamon. Now, this is cinnamon. I know. Oh, look! And there's a paper label stuck on it. Like, maybe, maybe it's cayenne pepper. And maybe Laura Ingalls. Maybe Laura Ingalls snuck into the pantry and stuck this label on the cayenne pepper. No, no. It's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. It's really high. I have some last night. This is cinnamon. This is cayenne pepper. This is also cayenne pepper. This is cayenne pepper from France. This is cayenne pepper or poivre de cayenne. This is cayenne pepper in French. This is cayenne pepper, American organic. This is cinnamon. Now, so you don't make the mistake that Nellie Olson made when Laura got into the pantry and mixed up the cayenne pepper and the cinnamon. They actually are a different color. Okay, pepper is much more red. See, cinnamon is brown. Cinnamon is brown. Cayenne pepper is red. You know what else is red? Paprika. And paprika is actually redder than cayenne pepper, but not as hot. Paprika is just a little... I love paprika. I put paprika in a lot of things. Okay. The important thing is, not the cayenne pepper. Although, do you notice I have a lot of bottles of cayenne pepper? Do not, do not send me 
any more cayenne pepper. I know people think it's hysterical and they mail me the cayenne pepper. Do you know how much cayenne pepper I have in this house? Do you know how many containers? Of it's terrible. So don't send me any more cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper, but oh my God, I have so much cayenne pepper. It's crazy. So cinnamon, how much? I like cinnamon. I like cinnamon a lot. And whoa, some people cinnamon chicken, they just a hint of cinnamon. I'm like, cinnamon, cinnamon. So this is a tablespoon. That's not a teaspoon. That's a tablespoon. Tablespoon. La, la, la. Now, I shouldn't be doing this over this bowl. I should be doing it over a different bowl because the idea of holding, um, when people in cooking shows pour spices and flour over a bowl, it's so that they mess it up. So I'm actually going to pour it over here. Yeah. A little more, a little more. Easy now. That's a tablespoon. I need two tablespoons. I'm going to get more cinnamon. I'm going to be out of cinnamon by the time I finish making this silly clothing. Oh, look, it's two. Now, technically, that's plenty. Eyeliner all over the place. Technically, that's plenty. Maybe. All right. I'm not going to add a whole other. I'm make it, get, get, get. So I just added two tablespoons and like a quarter teaspoon or something. Flour and cinnamon. Now, then you add normal things that you might put on a piece of chicken. I personally like paprika. It adds lovely color and a little spice. Many people love salt. The Ingalls. The Ingalls love salt. We know that. We know that from reading the books. Every two pages they make something and it's like, salt! Um, I don't like too much salt. Salt is lovely. I do not like too much salt. I like a little salt. A tiny bit of salt. Also, um, Bob does hardly does any salt. Um, he's on like doctors or don't drink too much salt. It's, it gives you high blood pressure. It's, a lot of people are on salt-free or low-salt diets. It's very important. But, in case we're about, see, I think that's enough salt. You went there. Okay, whoop de doo To me, that's like, oh, salty. So, but if you like salt, you might, at this point, add salt. Then, also pepper is good. Not too much. Oh, look there. That's Dixie pepper. Now, you also can get interesting. You can add a little, I'm going to do a little herb de Provence. Just a little because this is like assorted herby things. What do we got here? Um, this stuff, now this is Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. This is a little peppery, but like, ooh, there you go. <laughs> a dash. You, what do you like? What do you like in your spices? That's the kind of thing you're going to add. Look at this. I need a fork. I need a fork. I forgot my fork. It's all about the fork. You're going to mix this, the flour and the cinnamon and the things and the spices for the fork. La 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 la. Thoroughly. Doo -doo -doo. And you see now, it's a lovely color. Now, I'm gonna, this is where, because it's Nelly making this and not Laura. Yes, we're going to add cayenne pepper. Like, garlic? Okay, somebody said garlic. Yes. I'm not doing garlic in this, but last night Bob went, I would put garlic in this. I would totally put garlic. I think the garlic would totally go with the cinnamon. Let's, we should do garlic. So really you can do like anything you want. I do cayenne pepper in this. Not a lot. Like if we were measuring, it would be the little, this spoon, the little baby spoon, the tiny one that's a quarter teaspoon. I'm literally, because I have a shaky thing, I'm going to very gently go, Like you can just see. There you go. I like it. I like spicy food, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go crazy. So oops, spicy food. Let's put these things like out of my way. So then what happens? Then what happens is mix, 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 mix. La 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 la. Now we are gonna take the pretty piece of chicken that is in the milk now. And it's all wet. We meant that's the plan. You're not gonna be able to use this milk for anything after. In you go. And we do this. La, 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 la. I'm going to take the fork and dump it over this. Kind of scoot it around even with the fork. And you want to really dredge. That's always the word they use in the cookbooks. I wish to dredge this here thing in flour and spices. Dredgy, dredge, dredge. So that is absolutely, absolutely covered in this stuff. Just covered. Lots of it. Let it sit for a minute. Because you know what we're going to do now? 
I'm going to turn the heat on. The green beans. What? Yes, I'm turning the heat on the green beans because I don't want them to cook very long. But this chicken, this chicken isn't going to take very long. So I'm actually going to take let that water start getting hot and cooking those up. Yeah! Now, la 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 la. We have many things. It mentions in the in my recipe, one of the things I do, so I get this thing, and you know, I'm going to fry it up, but right before it's done, I do a thing where I add a little butter and a little chicken broth. What? And this makes it moist. So I have here, Swanson, this, uh, once again, what is it? It's 33% less sodium. I got the low salt. I got the low salt. I look at those things that are salty. Ah, blah, blah. Low salt. Low salt. Chicken broth. I already opened one last night, so brr, I have to have a of it. So we're going to put a little bit in a cup. Er, carefully. Don't want, like chicken soup flying everywhere. That would be hilarious, but not. There. Burr to burr. Just a little. Just a little bit. Of so, there's just spices in there, yes. Um, what is that? That's like bare, almost half a cup. Quarter cup. You don't need that much. to pour some off. There. A quarter cup of magic chicken broth. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take butter. No, it's not the butter. Do you know Bob liked churning butter? Remember Bob churned butter the other day? Bob enjoyed churning butter so much. He said, can, can we get, get more cream? Can I churn butter again? Because I really like He loved it. He loved churning butter. He's never churned butter before. And he um, liked it so much that he insisted that we get more cream so that we could churn more butter. So we'll do it. I am going to take a chunk of butter, like a tablespoon, and I'm going to put it in this thing of broth and just have it sit there. What am I doing? Magic, magic. It will be magic. This is more of that weird kitchen magic stuff like I did with the white sauce. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. So we have that. Oh, it's nice. Come on, Jewel. La, 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 Make sure you have that ready. Wait. I'm back. I'm going to put some of these things away. Because they don't want them like all over the place. Oh, look, we have garlic. Should we do garlic? Look at that. There we go. Oop, garlic. There you go. Yay. For all the garlic lovers, we did just do garlic. Hoorah. Hoorah. So now these beans, the water is sort not boiling, it's just kind of, and then it's steaming. So we only, it doesn't need to do it that long. Minutes, minutes, but that's how long it's going to take. Oh, Bob loved turning the butter. He did, not even just eating it. Bob had never done it, and he like totally flipped out that like it became butter. He's like, oh my God, it's butter. It turned into butter. This is actually, but I'm like, this is where butter comes from. Oh, what do you think? I like this lighting better. Okay. That was interesting. We had this on. It was interesting, but we didn't need it. Did we? <laughs> so crazy. All right. So now, the PSC. Yeah, we don't need the milk anymore. Milk goes bye-bye. We don't need the measuring thing. So we just have chicken in flour and cinnamon. And we have chicken soup and butter. What are we doing? Now, we have a fork. Also, super important. This is like the most important thing ever. A lid. You must, must, if you're frying anything, have a lid. Because they, they, things spatter. Things spatter. And also you want to keep all the nice juices inside. But things spatter and it's dangerous. So you want, um, I can't get my hair done. <laughs> you need a lid. Okay. I am going to turn on the heat. Hot, hot, hot. Now, how hot? How hot? You can kind of start with the, yeah, y'all can see that good. You kind of want to start with the high heat because it's, well, you're frying, really. Yeah. Um, but I used olive oil. Olive oil will smoke if it's too hot. So you got to watch it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to medium high. And if I look over here, oh, look, my green beans are steaming. You know, I'm literally turning those off and letting the steam do its thing. It's not steamy. They're just steamy. I don't want them too done. So this is on, and it's it's pretty darn hot. I'm going to let it get, like, super hot. And what we do with this, we're going to get it super hot, and then, like, add the chicken, then turn it down. But safety, 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 safety. Safety, safety. And it keeps it, also, we need it for the 
magic, the magic thing we do, which makes it moist, moist. Also, um, I, we will have mashed potatoes. I'm not making mashed potatoes right now, but I have mashed potatoes in the microwave that I will heat up to go with this, and it will be freaking awesome. Sizzling. I hear sizzling, which is good that it's hot. It also is a little bad. It means there was a little moisture. There was moisture in the pan, which is like, oh, ooh, bad. But that's okay, because we're ready. Turn it down just a little bit. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon. You can add more cinnamon. You can add more anything. But this looks, this looks great. Look at that. It is covered in a light brown flour here. Right, so there we go. That's what it should look like. Now, hotty totty lid because I put it in. Oh, sizzling, much sizzling. There, see? Oh, that's lovely. Turn it just a bit. You can see it for. I'm going to put a little on that back because also I'm going to. Show you. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm going to tilt, tilt. We're just going to tilt this puppy all the way down there. Might even go up it. There you go. And you can see sizzling, sizzling, sizzling. Now, by placing this lid on it, I have done two things. I am protecting myself from flying hot grease that could hurt me badly. And I am keeping the heat and the steam in with the chicken. So I'm going to turn it down slightly, slightly. It's still medium high. But I don't want it to, like, fall in the smoke. Now, how long? Okay, I'm watching my time, watching my time. 58. I'm going to say three minutes. Three minutes on this side. Three minutes. La, 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 la. How are my beans doing? Oh, they're steaming away. I don't think I want them to be too good. I was just let them steam. And put them on these, but look why. I don't want the water to boil up. They're steaming. I don't like them too steamed. Okay. So. La, la, la. Oh, it's getting way hot. See, I'm turning this way down. I'm turning it way down, way down, way down, way down. It's doing its thing. Doing its thing. Oh, look at that. Soon. Oh, see, smoke. We got a little smoke. We got a little smoke from the olive oil. This is hot. But it's great. It's not burning. It is not burning. This is another thing to be very careful about. It will look super dark because of the cinnamon. Oh, can you use boneless chicken thighs for the breast? Absolutely. You can totally do this with chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, really rich meat, that's good. You can also do this with big hunks of, like, chicken with the bone in, like fried chicken. You can, you can do it like that. You can, any kind of chicken you want. Heck, you could get a vegetarian, um, pretend not chicken patty. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. Has it been two minutes? Oh, it's been almost two minutes. It's been almost two minutes. We love that. We love that. La, 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 ha, 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 ha. Maybe like one more minute. This is really hot, though. That's good. See, it's not smoking anymore. It's just being lovely. It's lovely. There you go. I think there's in the fat. The fat. Olive oil. Like I said, Crisco, Wesson oil, olive oil. Butter. Butter, though. Butter, nah. Butter would burn. We're going to add butter. But oil. 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 Wesson oil. It's fine. I like the olive oil. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. More sizzle. La, 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 la. Don't throw your flour away yet. You might need it. You might need it. Cinnamon chicken. Hi. Oh, Cindy, just joining us. It's cinnamon chicken. Yes. All right. Has it been? Oh, it's been three minutes. So I'm going to turn. I did some puppy over. Look at that. What is it doing? What is it doing? Do you see that? Do you see? It's kind of dark. It's kind of dark. It's not burnt. That is not burn dark. That is all the cinnamon and the paprika and the cayenne turning very, very dark. But it has a crust. There's like a crunchy crust on it now as like fried chicken. Now this is pretty hotsy potsy. Ooh, and it's a sizzling. I put lots of olive oil. I put a lot of olive oil this time because I wanted it to be good and fit, fit proper. And it's very thick here, so I want to make sure that part's definitely hot. Again, this is making it hotter. Look at my beans. They're steaming. They're great. The beans, I, they're off. I've turned them off, and they're just steaming away. I like my beans rare, medium rare, just barely steamed, not too, not too, not too overcooked. So this would be great. So, la, 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 la. We'll do, we'll do the mashed potatoes in the microwave last. That's totally great. See, Lisa's like, she's doing, yeah, she's keeping up here. This is great. 
So we've turned it over, and it hasn't been three minutes yet. At least, at least three minutes. Da, da, da. Keeping a very close eye on the heat. Very close eye on the heat. Not too hot, because you don't want it to burn and smoke. But not too low either, because you want it to hurt. You want it, you want it to cook. So medium. Medium is a lovely setting for your heat here. La, 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 la. I love, by the way, this, I, yeah, we had this last night. It's freaking delicious. Look at that. Crunch, 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 crunch. Is it getting crusty? I'm looking. Oh, it kind of is. A little more, a little more, because I want it to be cooked through. I want it to be cooked through. It, very often with chicken, you need to go to fry it, and it's all crusty and golden on the outside. It's raw on the inside. Bad. Also, you don't want to make sure your chicken breast isn't frozen. Make sure you've thawed it out thoroughly, but it's almost to room temperature. That's you know, not freezing cold because then it takes longer. So, it's good. Oh, 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 three minutes. Almost over, should we go four? La, 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 I like it done. Get a little low. Now, here's where it's going to get crazy. We're going to get crazy now. This is dangerous. Like, children shouldn't do this next step. Be careful. Make sure you have the lid. I should, you know, make sure my pot holder, pot holder, pot holder. Oh, yeah, look at that, look at that. I'm turning it down. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, beautiful. Now, look how hot that is. That is insanely hot, and there's hot grease. So we are turning it down, down. Butter and soup. Tiny bit, not too much, not too much, not too much. You could do wine. I do wine sometimes with other dishes. This butter and a little chicken soup. It's great. Now, this is where the lid comes in handy, because we're going to dump this in there. And that's dangerous because there's hot fat in there and this is liquid. But, see, it's kind of drying out. This is going to go, and it's going to sizzle and do crazy stuff, and the butter's going to melt. But because it's so hot, when the chicken soup hits it with the butter, that butter's going to melt, and that chicken soup's going to steam, and it's going to, magic, infuse the chicken. It's going to infuse the chicken with moisture. Really, this is the thing. I do this all the time. Why? Now, I did do this one time in France involving a big piece of duck and some mushrooms, it's really good, and red wine. But it was French red wine, which has like insanely high alcohol content, and I hit it with that, and it was beautiful, and the flames, the fl it caught fire, it caught fire, and the flames shot up to the ceiling of a kitchen that was not mine. That was my friend's kitchen, and, and, and he was not happy. But the flame, I, but I, I had a lid, and I slapped that lid on it, and everything was fine, and the fire was out, and the food was delicious. But um, um, my friend was like, why, why, pourquoi? Why? Why do you set my kitchen on fire? Why is my kitchen on fire? There's a fire in my kitchen. I said, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. So we're going to not set the house on fire, but we are. Butter, butter, butter. Soup. We got it. Yeah. I'm going to turn that up a little. Steam. It's a sizzling, and the butter is melting, and the chicken is sizzling. Ooh, it's doing things. I can hear it doing things. I've turned, it, I've turned it back up because there's liquid in there. Now it gets exciting. Now it needs a couple minutes here. What's it doing? Steaming. Yep, 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 yep. Steam, steam, steam. Gonna peek it. I shouldn't peek. Oh, the butter is melting. The It's foaming. It is foaming in there with butter and soup. That's what it's doing. Oh, yeah. Mix that up a little. Woo, yeah. It is sizzling and foaming and just doing, doing things in there. It's fantastic. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. But it's great. This is making this like so moist and delicious. Like any fry thing, get a little dry. <laughs> this ain't gonna be dry. Insane. So now I'm turning it down. Look at that. I'm gonna turn it way down. Way down. Low, low, low. Because you want to be very careful. Because you can you can burn your face off. It's very dangerous. That's why you notice I have the thing and I'm like ee and back back. Look at that. See that you look at how much steam. That's a lot. But do you see what has happened? Do you see what has happened to it? Look, look, there's all this liquid, and there's this fabulous piece of chicken, which is like super moist. Now, what do we do with this liquid? Well, we let it cook a little longer, a couple more minutes, so that it moistens things up. But, also, we make a kind of a gravy by adding a little more of the magic um, cinnamon flour. Just a little. Is it doing it? Is it cooking? It's cooking. Oh, yeah. This is lovely. We now have this sort of chicken soup, spicy flour mixture, and I'm going to add... Not too much. Just a little. We need to let that flour have to put this puppy over, actually. 
Yeah, look at that. Ooh, that worked. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Pork. Gently. Look how thick that got. Oh, look! Yes, because now it's like gravy ish kind of thing. Yeah. It's flour, fat, thing. It's gravy. It's lovely. And then we're going to put that on super low, a couple of minutes, and that way it'll get cooked all the way through. It's just only a couple more minutes. This should be, oh yeah, this is great. I feel confident that this is so close to done. I am now going to turn on the microwave and reheat my mashed potatoes. Hang on. Num nums. Yes. And now the mashed potatoes are heating. So, what do we do? Like, we're not sure, we're not sure. Like, is it done? Is it done? Now, obviously, if you're having company, you don't want to be, like, sawing off huge pieces of your food before you serve it. But, it's just us here. Knife! It's a very Ginsu kind of thing here. I'm going to do this very carefully because, remember, this is a non-stick pan. We do not want to scratch it. Normally, cutting things in the pan bad, very bad. But the very, very thick part here, I'm going to just kind of like go, ee, 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 not all the way through, not all the way through because I don't want to wreck the pan. <gasps> it's done. It's, it's done inside. So I'll get it. I'll have them low, low. But let it stay on low. Let it be warm. Let it cook. It's beautiful. It's sort of braising its juices. This is going to be super duper delicious. I believe, oh, the green beans are fine. When the mashed potatoes are hot, it's like a couple of seconds. Butter. Yeah. I'm going to put this on my plate so I have butter. And, um, woo! Two seconds. Yay. Butter. 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 Okay, now I have butter. Way over here. Wait, do I have mashed potatoes? Oh, yes, I do. I have hot mashed potatoes. Oh, look, I have, I have hot mashed potatoes. I have hot mashed potatoes. I made these with uh, red potatoes, the nice red potatoes. I left the skins on. I boiled them. I just cut them in half, not too small, and I boiled the bejesus out of them. And then I mashed them, and I added, is that hot? Hot enough, um, milk and butter. I didn't even add spices. You said, God, what things do. That's all I added. Okay, this is sizzling, so, oh, yeah. That's so done. This is done. Yay. Mashed potatoes! Wait, I need green beans, don't I? Hold on. I need a thing. Where I have a thing. Don't I have a thing? For grabbing, grabbing my green beans. Because <laughs> I don't want to burn myself. Oh, look, a giant fork. It's a giant fork. That'll work. Stab, stab, stab. Give me green beans. Yes, stabbing. Stabbing any green beans here. La, da, da, da. There we go. Stabby, stabby, and stabby. Yes. Many, many green beans. More green beans. More green beans. Okay, that's enough. That's fine. It's a display. Okay. I now have a plate with mashed potatoes and green beans, and now everything off. We turned everything off. We turned everything off. Water on my mashed potatoes, please, and on my beans. Oh my god. Okay, and now we cover this because it's hot and dangerous, and this will go in the sink and we'll get it washed, and there's a spare green bean. So, what have I done? What have I done? I have made <laughs> cinnamon chicken with mashed potatoes and green beans. Now, what happens when I kind of, can I eat this? Can I eat it? Yes, we can. Turn this a little bit. Let's put this back like that way. So you can see the thing. Mm -hmm. Can't move this. Yeah. Okay, what's happening? I'm going to take this fork. And then I'm going to stick it in the chicken. You can see? You can see? You can see the chicken? Yes. Carve right into it. See, it's done. Look at that. Done. Close up. <laughs> it's, it's so done. It's fabulous. Okay. And I'm going to cut a little chunk here. 
It's so juicy, it's ridiculous. Now the other thing is, I let that come off. We have this pan juice that's sort of a gravy. And you can get crazy like after the chicken is out and like make official gravy and do all that. I didn't do all that today. We're gonna pour a little of this onto the potatoes and the chicken. So they're just greasy juice. Very good. Chicken. Cinnamon. It's cinnamon chicken. It's cinnamon cinnamon chicken. It's cinnamon chicken. With cayenne. Oh, I wish this was smell o vision I wish this had like smell o vision and you could smell this because this is freaking delicious. I'm going to eat this now. I'm going to put down. No, it's not too hot. It's good. Oh. Mm. This is so good. This is so good. Someone said, what's a frying pan? It's a tea fall. It's a tea fall. I'm going to tilt this back up a bit. Tilty, tilty. Erp, erp. Hi. There. There. Back up, up, up. So, it's 1214. We started at, what, like 1138. So, 30 minutes, and that included making green beans and, like, messing around and talking about it for three days. Potatoes, butter. Mmm. Also green beans. Mmm. Okay. They're perfect. They're not soggy. They're not. Just turn it on and turn it off. Not too much cayenne pepper. I, although, I could probably put more cayenne pepper on this because I am bad. But um, see how it has like skin. It has like a skin thing. And chicken, chicken, chicken. It is so moist and so juicy and so cinnamony and yet cayenne peppery as well. Oh, I'm going to take this piece, which has like lots of cinnamon kind of. <clears throat> it's really that good. <laughs> it's really that good. This is, like I said, there are a million recipes for cinnamon chicken. I saw something that involved big chicken breasts and lemon juice and cinnamon baked in an oven. It sounds great. I'll make that sometime. Um, Melissa Gilbert has a recipe in her book of cinnamon chicken. Slightly different thing. Um, there's various four ingles cooked. There's a million recipes for cinnamon chicken. They're all fabulous. I do this. I just do this. Just fry it up with flour and cinnamon and spices and then make like a little moisture in the pan. It is so good. It's so good. And look, how long did that take? Did that even take? It, it, it was three minutes because they're little. It's like three minutes aside and then like four minutes in, in the steaming thingy. Um, maybe if you have a bigger piece of chicken, it might take longer. But it's a kitty. Oh, we have, we have a stray cat. Oh, you're from next door, aren't you? Hi. You're huge. Okay, there's a house cat. I'm moving this phone because there's a house cat. The size of a bobcat. It's not a bobcat. Come here. No? Oh, he ran away. There's a cat from next door that is like the size of a small lion just appeared on my patio going, it's like, no, you can't come in. He smelled the chicken. He smelled the chicken. So, yeah. Cinnamon chicken, mashed potatoes, cream meat. Yes! All right, there. That's how hard that was. That is how hard. Oh, je ne comprends pas anglais. Uh, le poulet, le poulet au cannelle. Poulet au cannelle avec le abricot vert et le uh, pomme de terre. C'est simple. C'est simple. There you go. See, I did it in French. Isn't it? Yeah, poulet, poulet de cannelle. It sounds really good in French, too. It's delicious. I always make it in France because French people watch Little House and they always say, Can you make this out of a chicken, please? And I, so I do. There. That's how hard it was. Yum! Um... So I'm going to go get ready because I'll be back in like an hour um, to read to you. And um, there you are. 